there has actually been an answer. And I decided that I would do the opposite. I figured that when I went to, uh, to France, my mom actually suggested, she said, why don't you take a rose back there? I'm not familiar with the story. And I said, yeah, it might be a good idea. The funny thing was that the day rolled around, I think it was a Monday, and um, everything was closed. All the shops were closed. And I went by a florist to pick up some roses so that I could drop them off in the basilica. And the florist was closed. And I was very disappointed. But the gentleman was working inside. And the, uh, the, the store itself was darkened. So I banged on the window. And he opened the door. And I said, do you have any roses in English? I didn't even speak French, unfortunately. The gentleman spoke a little bit of English. And they had this magnificent pot of living roses. They had a, a potted plant that was a, maybe a foot tall, and it was uh, budding. There were roses on it. it looked like a, uh, something that you would win a prize with. I said, how much is this? And they said, 10 euros. So I gave the gentleman 10 euros, and I took this little uh, this potted plant of roses, and we decided to go over to the basilica, and I would just drop it off there on the sanctuary. And ironically, this thought, the, uh, the place where her image is, is roped off. So there was a, 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 a little fence there, a little stone fence. You couldn't get too close to the image of the Sioux, which was sort of the memorial. So I figured I'd have to leave the roses there, and I was concerned that another tourist would come and pick up that nice pot of roses and walk away with it. So I dropped the roses right there, and myself and my friends walked away, and I turned back, and within two minutes, an employee had picked up the roses and then brought them up to the altar where uh, Therese was, so I was thrilled about that. But that was my opportunity to return a favor to her. I mention her because in today's gospel, the story talks about love, and Therese has a reputation uh, for sharing her theology of love. In, other words, in, other, in, in fact, that's why she was declared a doctor of the church. Uh, Therese's theology of the little way tremendously uh, humbled the theme. And Therese had a reputation when she was 10, 11, 12 years old for being a little spoiled, drew a lot of attention to herself. She was high maintenance as a child. And the story is that she had this minor conversion when she was 13 years old. She, she was ill when she was reading uh, Paul's letters. But she came to the realization that love was not something that you received. Even as a young child, she came to this realization. Love is not something that I get. It's something that I give. So she writes in her biography, that autobiography from that time forward, she never became as high maintenance or as difficult as she had been when she was 10 or 11 or 12. And uh, then she entered the Carmel when she was 15 years old. But we know what we know of her is from her her diary. Her older sister was a uh, superior in the Carmel where she lived, and her older sister said, "I want you to keep a diary." And she wrote about 250 letters that still exist, maybe 50 poems, and she has her diary, which is in three parts: Part A, Part B, and Part C. But she breaks down this theology of the little way, which basically says that we become holy by ignoring the inconveniences of life. That the way that we become good Christians is demonstrating that we can look past the inconveniences that are presented to us. So anytime that someone says something that is insulting to her, that is an opportunity to humble herself before the Lord and accept the criticism. Anytime that she's accused of anything unjustly, that is an opportunity for her to humble herself before the Lord and accept their criticism. And um, setting aside that humility, she writes a lot of poetry about the Lord and about her love for the Lord. And she has this theology of love that's just um, her personal relationship with Jesus Christ. She talks about her love for Jesus in her poetry. But the writings that she's left have um, are the reason that she is a doctor of the church. She asks us to practice the little way which means that we should look askance at the inconveniences of life, that we should accept the inconveniences that the Lord sends us, and that we should look for opportunities to extend love to other people rather than opportunities.